All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 3 plus x is equal to 10. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 10 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now negative 10, that's the same thing as negative 8 minus 2. So now I'm going to switch the order of these and rewrite this as x to the power of 3 minus 8 plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So now 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So now I have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, x to the power of 3 minus, th or sorry, x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3, I can rewrite as x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4, plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So now if I factor out x minus 2, I get x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 0, which is the same thing as x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I have two equations. I get x minus 2 is equal to 0 and x, plus, x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to 2, so this is one solution. And for x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, b is equal to 2, so I have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5 all over 2a, so 2. Now this is the same thing as negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over 2. Now the square root of negative 16 is the same thing as the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1, and the square root of negative 1 is equal to the imaginary number i. So negative 2 plus or minus the square root of, or sorry, square root of 16, which is 4, times i. i is the square root of negative 1 over 2, which is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 2i. So two more solutions. All right, so in this problem, I have 6 to the power of x is equal to 60. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log 6 to the power of x is equal to log 60. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent of b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 6 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 6 is equal to log 60. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 6. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to log 60 over log 6. Now log 60, I'm going to rewrite as log 6 times 10. Now I have this over log 6. So if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 6 times 10, that's going to equal log 6 plus log 10. And now I have this over log 6. Now this is the same thing as log 6 over log 6 plus log 10 over log 6.
Now log 6 and log 6, these two cancel out. So now I have 1 plus log 10 over log 6. Now log 10, that's the same thing as 1. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 6. And log 6, we can rewrite that as log of 2 times 3. So now this is the same thing as log of 2 plus log of 3. And log 2, that's equal to 0 0.301. Log 3, that's equal to 0 0.4771. So x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 0 0.7781. Now 1 over 0 0.7781, that's equal to 1.2852. So 1 plus 1.2852 is equal to 2.2852. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to 4. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x to the power of 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now x to the power of 4 I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 times 2, and 4 I can rewrite as 2 squared. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 2. So I have x squared plus 2 times x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 2 is equal to 0, and x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 2 equals 0, I can subtract 2 on both sides, so then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to negative 2. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of negative 2 is the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. Now, if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So I have x is equal to positive or negative the square root of 2i. Now, for x squared minus 2 equals 0, I can simply add 2 on both sides, and I get x squared is equal to positive 2. Now, to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of, and this is equal to positive or negative square root of 2. So now, I'm going to check. My original equation was x to the power of 4 is equal to 4. So, the square root of 2 to the power of 4 because this is an even exponent, it doesn't matter if it is positive or negative, it's going to be the same result. The square root of 2 is the same thing as 1 half, so I have 2 to the power of 1 half to the power of 4, which is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4. So this works, and for the square root of 2i, it's exactly the same thing, there's no difference. So my four solutions are right. 